The AI battle between Google and OpenAI is right now full on mode and today's no exception. OpenAI just launched a competing AI generator to Nano Banana and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it for free, how to use it, I'm gonna put them side by side with all the different tests, see who wins. And now you'll see right here in this pull down, it says create an image. And even below that you can see down here it says better, faster image creation is here. And they have a bunch of different templates that you could use. The cutie's here. She's not image generated. <laughs> you recording. just made the video. <laughs> so let's have some fun with this. So we start creating. And what this is going to do is now this is going to bring us into this new image generator dashboard. And right off the, the start, you can see there's a bunch of styles. So what they've done actually is just taken a bunch of really good image prompts and attach them to these style modes. So for example, sketch, holiday portrait, dramatic, plushy, baseball, bobblehead, 3D glass, there's a bunch in here. So I wanna do like a fun one. Let's do an ornament. We'll start this off. And we're gonna try this with a bunch of different images. So of course, I found the best image, which is our two buddies, Elon and Sam Altman. We know they love each other so much. And then we're gonna drop this in and we're gonna create a new image. And an ornament would actually be pretty funny. All right, so let's drop this image in and right away you could see that what it does is instead of you having to put any prompts, it just automatically puts it in. So it says, turn this into an ornament sculpture from glossy molded glass. So this is just an enhanced prompt that they've automatically put together for all of these different themes, which is different for a uh, chat GPT. So of course, at the same time, we're gonna go over to Nano Pro and then we're going to drop that in and then I wanna give it the same exact prompt because I think that'll be the best way to actually see what it looks like with Nano Banana. So we're gonna drop that in. And if you guys haven't used Nano Banana, I definitely recommend it. It's part of um, Google Studio. So you just go to aistudio.google.com and then you guys could take a look at it. So, <laughs> oh, this is actually quite funny. Okay, so they are pretty good looking ornaments, but it just it just made me laugh because it looks like they've been hanging out with Diddy a little too much <laughs> and got some got been playing with the uh, with the baby oil. Let's just say that they look all nice and glossy. I know it's supposed to be glass, but uh, but actually I'm kind of impressed. This is actually pretty good quality. Yeah, this actually looks pretty damn good. Okay, look at that. The detail on that is actually very good. Actually, I wanna go one step further. I wanna grab this image and I wanna open it up and let's take a closer look at the level of detail because that's the thing I really care about because when you don't zoom into images, they look very grainy. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Sam Altman's looking rather glazed up. Let's take a look at old Elon. Look at the detail of the hair though, even the individual hairs it picked up. So yeah, that is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, very impressed. Okay, so let's see how Gemini does. I just don't know if... What? So yeah, Gemini, this is what Gemini created. It looks like they are Siamese twins in this example. So I gotta give it, I mean, definitely one to um, open AI on this experiment. Why did it make it all white though, which is kind of weird. Molded glass. Let me just, let me actually just say one more thing though. Finish in a high shine lacquer that catches light from every angle. Let me just add one more thing in here. Cause I think that prompt is obviously optimized for, for open AI. So what I wanna do is I wanna say, Make sure you still see all of the colors and the details, but I just want it to look like it's glass. Okay, let's try one more. And then let's see what that looks like because I do feel like obviously OpenAI has been probably optimizing these image generations. So let's do another image. So let's go back and then go back to images and then let's drop in another image. So speak, let's just keep on the Elon train. Let's do a funny one from, wait, why did it not let me just go back? Do I have to go back? It's kind of weird. Okay, I guess. Um, let's do a bobblehead, baseball bobblehead. And then let's select the other image. 
of uh, good old Elon back in his time when he was a young buck. Not gonna, you know, talk smack about that nice hairdo he got, but hey, if you got the billions of dollars, you might as well get some new hair. Okay, that's, see, that's a way better representation. So one small little tweak, and then Gemini creates an image. Um, I don't think it's as good. It has no hair detail. It looks like an ornament for sure. It does have some nice reflections. It does look like glass. And also it followed the direction better because it actually has them as one ornament, which is originally what the prompt was. But OpenAI did two individual ornaments. So small detail, but it did listen to that part. But once we added the color and see-through part, it made it much better. Okay, let's go back and let's put the prompt for our next one, which is the figurine. Let's run it. So now we're gonna have both of those. So here's the result. A nice young Elon Musk. It is pretty cute actually. I, I gotta give it to it. I think that, that does look pretty cool for ornaments. I mean, imagine if you had a 3D printer, you could just make this right now. I bet we could use some kind of 3D software, turn this into a 3D um, spec, and then you could just print this out at your house with a 3D printer, which I'm actually buying before the holiday, uh, before the year is over. So I'm gonna be playing around with some 3D um, modeling. All right, so let's see how Gemini does. So Gemini chose to do two angles. Um, it does look a lot more like Elon, and, um, and then it also gave us like a reverse so you can see what the back looks like. So as far as which one's better, I think this one's more realistic, but this one does look more like a bobblehead. So I like them both, to be honest. I think they both did a good job. Very different styling. This does feel more like a bobblehead though. This feels more like a rendering of a bobblehead, not like a real one. But I do like the detail of this open AI one, okay? All right, let's do one more. Okay, next I definitely want to try this plushie. This is the one that I've actually wanted to try. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take a picture of me and my wife when we were on vacation. Right there. Let's see what that looks like with the plushie. And then let's also do the same for Gemini. Let's grab that one, drag it in, and then hit run. So the other thing that OpenAI finally did is right now while this is rendering, you could actually make another image. So you don't have to wait anymore. It doesn't like freeze your search. So I could just start making another image right now. So if I go back and if I select another image, it's able to actually create it. Okay, so let's see what this plush looks like. So one thing I noticed is uh, Gemini's way faster. So Gemini had already finished, it started second, and this is still going. And uh, <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> Oh, I like that actually. The detail's pretty good. That's really nice. It actually looks like it's made out of that wool. I think that's what the, the material is. I like that a lot actually. Okay, let's see the uh, the open AI. Oh. <laughs> it made us into little, little pageant. What are they called? Uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it also has the background. So yeah, for sure this is a win in my book because it takes the whole body. So it took the context of the, the image and I wanted it to be the full image as I did with the prompt. And uh, so it added our little legs. We don't have any limbs or any hands or legs, but that's okay, but I guess it's a plushy toy. But I'm, I'm very impressed with that. I think that looks cool. This one would have been nice if it was actually not cut off. And then what I do like also is it did the background in the same style. So what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? I think I do like this one better though. And the way that it, the way that it did those eyes, I think it's actually super interesting. When it first was rendering, I didn't like it. But now the more I look at it, it's kind of cute that it shows it through the eyeballs. So another great one. Okay, so the other thing you can do now inside of here is once you have this image generated and click on it, you could go to select area. So I could select area and now you can actually go in and edit individual images. So I do like this a lot. So for example, if I wanted to, let's see if I could get rid of, let me get rid of that and then get rid of that. And I'll just say, remove the circle eyes. Let's see what it does. And then inside of Google, I don't know if you can actually even do that. I think you have to just basically re-render it. So it doesn't have that feature. So that's already a plus one. Yeah, rerun and then, yeah, I can only branch from here. So I can't actually go in and edit. 
I've never needed to use that feature, but it doesn't even have it. So let's go back and see how this looks now. So no, it wasn't able to do it. So that didn't work. Remove the circle eyes, didn't even understand the context. So let's just try this one more time. So not, not too happy with that. Let's select the area and let's do this. Let's put, let's go back here, get rid of this. And I'm gonna say, let me just get the whole background, as much of it as I can. And then I'm gonna say, Convert this to be a sunset scene and also put a bunch of boats in the back, a flame flying, and also some birds. And change the location to a city in Tokyo. All right, let's see what that does. So what I'll do is I'll do the same prompt inside of Gemini. And let's see if it'll actually pick up the context and not mess with the main image. All right, let's see how it did. Oh, very nice. All right, OpenAI, that is impressive. We got ships, we got Tokyo, we got birds flying. I don't see a plane, but I'll take that as a win for sure. And let's see Gemini. <laughs> so Gemini stayed on theme though. So why did why is the boat on fire? Did I say something about fire? Oh, I put a flame flying. Okay, it wasn't a plane. That's why it didn't do it. Okay, so it was my stupid uh, my stupid uh, voice conversion. Oh yeah, I do see them all on fire. <laughs> that is hilarious. I love playing with image generation. It is too fun. Okay, now let's try something different though. So I actually want to make a YouTube thumbnail for this video that you're watching right now. So. The video you saw is actually created inside of this video and it was based on this thumbnail. So let's do this. Let's reset the chat. Let's go to create an image and then we're going to go in and let's see if there's a, there's no YouTube theme, but I want to just prompt it. I want to create a YouTube thumbnail 16 by nine for a video talking about the AI image battle between Google and open AI, period. I want to have me in the middle looking shocked like this photo and then I want you to put Google logo in my left hand and the open AI logo in my right hand and then I want you to put a collage of a bunch of image generated images behind me, period. I want it to be Mr. Beast style with the color, the styling, and also I want you to have the font big so it's bold and pops with a nice background and textures. Okay, let's copy that. And then I need a picture of myself really quick. All right, so let's drag this image in. So that's me right there looking goofy. Let's copy this and then hit send. Then we're gonna also go to Gemini. We're gonna do the same thing and then we're gonna drag that image in. I've actually been making a lot of my YouTube thumbnails. Hope you guys are liking the channel and I've seen my good thumbnails. I've been using Nano Banana for sure. That was the thing that I always struggled with the most, which is getting these thumbnails done for YouTube. I love making the videos, but honestly, I've been struggling with them and it's getting really, really good. So let's see how that handles this image right here. Okay, so we can see it's 16 by nine. So it is actually listening. The biggest struggle with image generation when it comes to OpenAI is this stuff is always out of frame. Whoa, whoa, okay. That is pretty good. I'm definitely running with that. Yup, let's do it. Google versus OpenAI, everything is rendered properly. It's got the extra logo here, which I'm not a huge fan of, but this will actually be a perfect one to test and fix. AI image battle, OpenAI and Google. It's not on fire, but there's fire elements. So let's edit this really quick and then do this and say, remove the logo and put open AI next to the versus. Remove the logo and put open AI next to versus. All right, that's good. Let's see how Jim and I did. Similar. AI image battle, Google versus OpenAI. It made it super colorful. The images in the back are too similar, so I'm actually not a fan of that. So let's do this. Mix up the images in the background 
with a bunch of different images of people, animals, places, and also make the text solid bold colors. Don't make it rainbowy. Rainbowy, is that even a word? Not even sure anymore. Okay, let's see. So let's see if it fixed it. Oh, it didn't listen. See, there you go. So, oh, it even made it worse. What the hell is that? Okay, so their select area edit feature um, is not working. So let's try it one more time. Let's say, and I'll be even more clear. Remove any logo and just put open AI in that font style. Once. Okay, so it's definitely failing with the edit feature. Okay, here's uh, Google, and uh, it's pretty good. AI image battle, Google versus open AI. It's all correct with exclamation mark. That's kind of nice. And then it's got the logo, and then it's got the open AI logo. So, and it's got all the different animals, people, places. I like it. I think it's a win. I'm going to honestly run this. So if you guys got to the video from one of these images, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a follow up video and see which image actually converted. I obviously should be tweaking this, but I think for the sake of the video of how fast you can do this, I'm just going to run with these two thumbnails and hopefully you guys are watching this video and hopefully you like this video, but uh, I'm, I'm impressed. I honestly think this is a big step forward. Um, it did it. Oh, it did do it. So it did fix it. Google versus OpenAI, but then it removed all the logos from the image. So not good. It removed all the images, all the logos. I only selected this area and it should have only done it there, but it also removed it from here. So let's do this. So now add the Google logo and open AI logo to my hands only and make them on fire. All right, one final one, one final one. Let's see how it goes. And uh, also, if you guys like this kind of content, um, would love a. Uh, also, if you guys like this channel, also, if you like the content. Also, if you guys are into vibe coding, building applications, we have a community called AI Builders. We have 569 members. In here, we have classrooms on how to vibe code, image generation, marketing, set building mobile applications, websites, from start to finish, ideation, development, and also marketing. We also have a bunch of extras. We do weekly calls, all that kind of good stuff. And if you guys are interested, and people are launching apps every day. So Dale just launched his approved iOS App Store app. We also have Nils, who just launched his app in the App Store. All the training is inside of there. If you guys are interested, definitely come hang with us. It is free right now for seven-day trial. So you guys could come in and you could also try it. I think we're in like 62 countries right now which is pretty remarkable. It's been really fun running the community. So let's take a final look at it now. And there it is, Google versus OpenAI. The logos are on fire, AI image battle. I think it's absolutely high quality. And then here's the Google one. It looks a little more cartoony. I actually prefer the image one done by OpenAI. I think this is just a cleaner thumbnail. So I'm going to upload those. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to do next. Cheers.